It's been quite some time since I've done a furniture makeover on my channel, and what better timing than with my new little one on the way. I picked up this Bassett dresser off of Facebook Marketplace for $50 a few months back and plan on converting it into a changing table slash baby dresser. I began by removing all of the old hardware and drawers. The top three drawers I sprayed down with some QCS so it could sit while I removed the rest of the hardware and drawers. I will be doing a two-tone look so that's why I only did that to the top three drawers. What looked like the original hardware I decided to keep for future use and the rest I threw out since none of it matched. After a good vacuum to remove as much of the dust as possible, I sprayed a second coat of QCS on those three drawers. It's been so hot out lately that it dried it out before it could remove any of the old finish as I would have liked. I sprayed a generous amount of crud cutter to remove all of the nasties and grime off of this old thing. And here's what the clean water looked like before. Here is a good reminder of why you never want to skip cleaning the bottom of your pieces and that it's always a good idea to turn it on its side or its back to get in there and clean it just like the rest of the piece. This is what the water looked like after the first rinse and before the drawers. I always do two passes to remove all of the residue as much as possible. By then the other drawer fronts had been sitting long enough so I scraped off the old finish and it came right off. I did spray it a third time but this time it was just to give it one last clean. Using a two part Bondo wood filler I filled in all of the areas that were missing veneer or needed filling. Again because of the heat I tend to have to do even smaller batches around this time of year than usual because it dries up so much quicker. I like to use CA glue on small repairs like this veneer so I don't have to wait on it to dry as compared to regular wood glue which I typically leave overnight to set before moving forward. CA glue is sandable and dries within seconds when pairing it with an accelerator. I believe I still have an active discount code with Starbond specifically so I'll leave that linked if you're interested.
I decided to fill in the hardware holes on these drawers here because I wanted to change the look a bit. And speaking of hardware, thank you to Golden Worm for working with me and providing the new hardware for this makeover. Golden Worm is a one-stop shop for all of your home decor hardware, including pools, knobs, handles, drawer slides, and door hinges. So I decided on these very sleek and modern solid brass handles with the matching knobs. And um, they have a really nice sleek design to them that I feel is going to elevate this dresser makeover, especially because it is a changing table. So it'll look a little more modern from just your typical changing table slash baby dresser. And they also have a really good weight to them. Like they feel like they're really good quality. They're nice and heavy. They don't feel cheap and light, but they're also really budget friendly, which is super awesome. I'm going to be putting the knobs going across the top three drawers that I am leaving wood toned and then also the middle drawers. I'm going to add the larger pools or handles to the bottom two drawers. So be sure to check out Golden Worm if you're in the market for some hardware as they have such a huge budget friendly, great quality selection to choose from. Their website is also user friendly so you won't be disappointed. I sanded down the wood filler and scuff sanded the entire piece. I wrapped the drawers in plastic to protect them from overspray. I was finally ready to spray my primer and I used the Bin Shellac primer and I normally always do two coats of primer before the color, but since I am keeping this one, I wanted to see how well it holds up with just one coat of primer. So I did only one so that I could potentially only do one on future pieces that I sell. After a quick stand in removing the dust, I sprayed the first coat of color. I am using the color Black by Bear in their scuff defense line in a matte finish. While I waited on that to dry, I moved on to sanding the three drawers using 100 grit and then 220. Once I was done with that, I came back and lightly sanded with 220 before adding the second coat of color. To turn this dresser into a changing table, I built a wooden fence to hold the changing pad out of 1x3s. I built this to fit the dimensions of the changing pad that I have specifically, so I won't bother to share the measurements. I just wanted to share that I made sure to miter all the corners at a 45 degree angle. On the two shorter pieces, I drilled a pocket hole on each end so I can use it to secure it to the dresser itself. I glued them and secured them to each other with brad nails.
and once it was assembled i filled all of the brad nail holes using some spackling so i could avoid sanding i worked it back and forth until i had no excess on the wood I gave it two coats of color and then I sealed everything using two coats with a light sand in between of a matte polycrylic. While I waited on that to dry, I came back and cleaned the three drawers. I added the new hardware. And once dry, I came back and used Odie's oil with a super fine steel wool working it into the veneer. Thirty minutes later, I buffed away any excess with a cloth. To finish things off, I added the changing pad fence, and let's remember what this dresser used to look like, and what it looks like now. I hope you enjoyed this furniture makeover. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads as always i love y'all be kind and i'll see y'all next week bye